halfway across Brazil in the dry, dusty Bahia region. Hay now spends most of his day breaking rocks. My job is to break the stones with the hammer. I crush the larger rocks into smaller ones. They use the stones to pave the roads. I just keep hitting them all day. By the end of the day, your hands get tired from lifting the hammer. I know this is dangerous work, but it's necessary. Because my mom needs the help. She doesn't make enough money on her own. I must help. If I work, my mom can then buy food. Yes, the work is boring and it's bad. Piece of stone go into your eye and your fingers always get hurt. You get tired, you sweat, but I'm not going to stop. My mom needs me. They often work an extra day to make ends meet. Many times we work on Sunday as well. Then he now has no day to play or rest. I think about the kids that are playing while I'm breaking stones. It makes me sad. I could be playing soccer or riding a bike. Hey Now's mother has lived in this region her whole life. She knows firsthand how working as a child limits your possibilities as an adult. I feel bad. I myself was raised like this. My father put me to work since I was little. The kind of life we have, we cannot hope for too much. But Heinau's mother still wants more for him, so she lets him work only a half a day and then sends him to school. For Heinau, being able to go to school even for half a day is something to look forward to. <laughs> Heinau loves school. He loves to sing, read, and learn. I study in school from 12 to 5 p.m. I like it here in school with my friends, learning to read and write. Studying in school is very important because if we don't, we'll be illiterate. And that would make things worse and keep us from learning other things. I think he really likes school. He always wants to study. He, he takes it seriously and tries so hard. I hope it can help him. If I learn how to read and write, then one day I can be a teacher. I would like that. Then I could teach other children how to read and write too. That's good and not bad like breaking rocks. But Hay now is only nine years old, and after five hours of breaking rocks, he's exhausted. He's too tired to get the benefit of an education, and a half a day of school is not enough for a child. Work and study do not go together for children. It is not the way it should be. It's too hard for them. They get so tired. Hay now is already falling behind in school because of this. It's not good. Heinau's teachers have already noticed that his development is delayed. Only a full day would help him catch up. And the only way that would be possible is through a school scholarship. That's why Brazil, working closely with the ILO and UNICEF, has created a unique program called the Bolsa Escola. This scholarship allows kids to go to school full time, and it also provides for special classes in the arts and other enrichment courses that round out their education. To make it all possible, the scholarship compensates families for the income lost by the child not working. 
For some, the balsa is cash. For others, it might mean a goat or other animal, which can be used by the family as a steady source of income. Either way, the Bolsa Escola has allowed over one million children to leave their jobs.